Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to another logo design tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this modern looking logo icon in Adobe Illustrator. You don't need any real experience in this and you'll learn a lot about logo creation and icon creation and how you can simply make them in this tutorial. Before we get into it, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and also remember to like and subscribe this video and share it with your friends if you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So here's the logo we're going to be working on today for this tutorial and within this tutorial you're not only going to create a logo like this but you're going to understand a bit more about illustrator and how i come up with different effects and ideas first thing i'm going to make sure is i'm going to turn off uh, snap to pixels and i'm going to put smart guides on so what we're going to do is we're actually going to focus on the negative space inside of our shapes to create the logo using the shape builder tool so this is how we do it so the first step is go to your ellipse tool over at the top left here make sure it's just ellipse hold shift and create an ellipse like so it should be a perfect circle we're then going to go ahead and change the color of this i'm going to change it to red just because it's easy for me to see go ahead and hold alt and shift and we're going to duplicate it a couple of times I'm going to duplicate this one up here. I'm going to create a triangle or a pyramid formation as much as possible. It doesn't have to look very good right now, but we're just going to move these out, expand these out a little bit, move them down. Now, once you've got them all in the middle, you might be wondering what, what's going on. This has got nothing to do with this logo over here, but it does. The crazy thing about Illustrator and creating icons, we can actually take the negative space as a shape inside of illustrator so you see all this white space here in between we can actually take this as a shape but we have to create a border around it and we're going to do this in a very cool way so the next step is we're going to create smaller circles now we're not going to use the golden ratio but you can do if you want but all i'm going to do is click on this little circle here and we're going to press ctrl c and then command or ctrl f to paste in front we're going to make this smaller and we're going to hold shift and alt to make it smaller inside of the circle and we're going to change it to a nice i don't know like a gray so we can see it from the white background now this circle is going to be used all the way around our icon and when you create an icon it's important to keep everything as consistent as possible so all i'm going to do is i'm going to start connecting all these circles with this circle here and you might be like wow what's going on well i'm going to show you so we're going to hold alt and we're going to drag them out now you can see here I'm getting these little magenta lines. I don't really want them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go when it's just touching these circles. And I'm going to go up to view and then turn smart guides off for now because it's going to do your head in. And you'll also notice that this circle is behind these other ones. So from this one here, we're going to go right click and then arrange and bring to the front. So we can see how much is actually being used here or being clipped off. We want to try and match these circles up as much as possible to one of these lines so it's just touching it it won't work if you don't get these little bits over here overlapping all right when you've got that circle done delete this circle here i'm just going to put this circle kind of back into the center now we're going to use the same little circle all the way around and we're going to just do exactly what i did there i'm just going to make sure that each of these circles are actually overlapping ever so slightly into the other circles but not too much just so they're slightly hitting them and i'm holding alt to duplicate this very easily there are probably other ways of doing this that's probably easier and more mathematically right we're going to go all the way around so every single bit is touched like so hold shift on this one okay so what we have here now is the baseline of our icon and you might be thinking this is really crazy and it might give you inspiration or it might just overwhelm you but let me tell you it is super easy to create any shape using this method all we need to do is make sure that we duplicate our work every time so i'm going to duplicate it just in case the work gets lost during the process i'm always up for duplicating and with the duplicate and with the copied version of the work just highlight all the shapes and press shift and m and what that will do is it will give you this tool called the shape builder tool which is found here on the left as well now what the shape builder tool allows you to do is merge shapes together it allows you to take shapes away from other shapes and new shapes into other shapes and whatever it's kind of like the upgraded pathfinder tool but what we're going to do 
is we're going to make sure that when we hover our cursor over this logo that the white space here is grayed out it is very important that this white space is grayed out and only the white space here because this is our shape we're not actually caring about these circles on the outside we're just caring about the circles on the inside or the shape on the inside so what we're going to do is without messing around with any of these click on this shape here and that will add the shape to the actual logo so we've got an inward negative space shape here now now what about the other shapes well the other shapes what we need to do with all the red ones we want to just hold alt and you'll see on the cursor there it goes to a minus and we're just going to click 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 on all these ones that we don't need and we've got shapes there now the easiest thing to do now would be just to go all the way around the logo and drag them in and what we're doing there is we're actually joining them all together so it becomes one shape. And you'll always find these little bits if you don't do it correctly. If you did it sloppy like me, you'll find little bits on the corners here that aren't actually, you know, properly selected or done. So you just go over these little bits, zoom right in, get right in there and make sure that all these little lines and bits are done. And we can refine this later and there we go we have got our base shape now if you wanted to create a gradient around this or a different color just make sure you highlight everything press command and g so you can go ahead and group them together this is now a vector shape it looks kind of crazy and we could simplify it very easily by going to all these little anchor points holding the minus or go to the minus function on the pen just, just get rid of some of these and you know, make it a bit nicer get rid of some of those anchor points but we're going to change the color to a gradient because i like that so i've got this pre-made gradient here that i did earlier and this gradient is pretty cool all it is is the light blue and you can do it very simply with other colors as well we can go to a pink by dragging the pink down here and we could go to a nice blue by dragging the blue over here and we can create this cool pink logo but it doesn't look too professional we could do it with the greens as well so we can have like a nice green there and maybe like a lighter green over here so we've got this cool little function here we can change the direction of the gradient and that is basically it now if you didn't like this logo or you wanted to change it figure out how you can like spin it around like so you could spin it like that you could spin it like this and you can also add other circles but just make sure you add them in the correct spaces here to create some more circles inside of here to make it more balanced. And just like that, we've actually created a pretty cool logo that we can like customize and you know, do whatever we want to. It's a pretty cool icon, works really well, especially if you're trying to make a logo for your own business. This video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. If you're someone who's looking to learn more about graphic design, hand lettering, photography, cooking, or anything in the professional industries, Skillshare is the perfect place to learn all of these skills. Skillshare have got thousands of classes from professionals in the workplaces showing you how they come up with ideas like this. There are many classes on logo design, which I can link down below in the description. The great thing about Skillshare is that you don't pay for each class separately. You actually pay $10 a month to receive all of the classes in Skillshare and there are thousands. Recently, I've been learning how to animate my logos in Adobe after effects just to help improve my skills so if you'd like two months of skillshare premium for completely free to try out as many classes as you like click that link down below in the description guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please press that red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell if you like the video press the like button if you didn't like it press the dislike button twice and i'll catch you in the next video see you soon goodbye